Hundreds if not thousands of businesses right here in the North Country hit hard by the pandemic are getting some financial help. A second round of the PPP or Paycheck Protection Program is underway. Paying bills and keeping workers on the payroll as many businesses struggle to survive until things can get back to normal. Brandon Sample, who owns the Rainbow Wedding and Banquet Hall in Altona, New York, has qualified for both rounds. Over the past year, with the state ban on large gatherings, many businesses canceled their holiday parties. And Sample hosted only about a dozen weddings in all, with no more than 50 guests alone. We do an average around 50 weddings per year. Sample says loans like the Paycheck Protection Program help keep the lights on, and his four full-time employees working. The way the PPP money is calculated is based on your payroll and uh, so we didn't get as much money as some would think. Uh, however, it all adds up certainly. Sample is one of the 250 businesses that got a cut of the 25 million dollars in PPP loans from Champlain National Bank this past year. The bank says it's on track to give just as much again in the second round. There are some new restrictions, though, aimed at helping smaller businesses in particular. This time around, in order for the loan to be forgiven, a business needs to prove it suffered a 25% loss in the past year and that it employs fewer than 300 people. Until things get better, Sample says he's making the best of a bad situation by shifting his business from wedding parties to fine dining. This is a people gathering location and we feel confident we can do it in a safe manner. So it only made sense to open up our new Brookside Barn as a restaurant. The bank is taking PPP applications through the end of March. And joining us now to talk more about the second round of PPP is Steve Cascio, president and CEO of Champlain National Bank, headquartered in Willsboro and uh, branches in Clinton, Essex, and Franklin counties. Welcome, it's good to see you. Hi Tom, nice to be here. Hundreds if not thousands of businesses just right here in our area in the North Country took advantage of the first round of PPP or the Paycheck Protection Program. At the height of the uh, COVID outbreak last spring and into the summer, uh, $500 billion uh, made uh, available and forgivable government-backed loans distributed as part of the first stimulus package, the CARES package, the CARES Act, to more than five million small businesses to uh, help them keep paying their workers through the worst of the, uh, the pandemic. For many of them, was that money critical at that time to keep going? It really was, because if you think back to uh, that time frame, the New York City was really being impacted significantly with the virus. They were expecting it to span throughout the state, and we went into what was called a pause, or really a shutdown, so you had Anything that wasn't considered essential was told to shut. I mean, construction uh, projects were shut down, barber shops, hairdressers, restaurants. So yes, that money was critical to get out there as quickly as they could. And so for those businesses, they needed those funds to keep going or to keep employees on the payroll, not to immediately turn around and lay off a lot of workers? That was the intent, right? Because uh, the majority of that money needed to go to payroll in order for it to be forgiven. We hear pros and cons about the PPP, would businesses have to repay the loans? But in reality, do the majority of the businesses not have to repay those loans as long as they kept workers on staff and didn't cut back the number of workers they had? Yes, the vast majority will get it forgiven. We uh, started the forgiveness process before the second phase started, and we, ha we were having, you know, most people, were, it was being forgiven. In January, now the second round of PPP has been approved and, and opened, and that's happening right now. It is. We started accepting applications for the second round on the 15th of January. And how many businesses in this area did you have come to you looking to uh, help get them loans through PPP? In the first round, we did over 250 uh, loans to different businesses, totaling over $25 million. And that's right here, just in the, the Tri-County That's right here, because that's our market. So yeah, absolutely. And in the second round now, are many of those same businesses coming back and, and looking for more? They are. We are not quite as many because there are a little tighter restrictions on who's eligible this time. But we are already up to just less than 200 applications. So yes, we're still seeing that the need and demand is out there. And you're getting the word out that if you got a loan the first time, at least check to see if you're eligible for a loan for the second round? Yes, absolutely. We want to make sure people that are entitled to this money can get it to help them through. And even businesses that didn't get in on the first round, 
can get in on the first round, uh, there's still money available? There is, so in January they also reopened phase one, uh, so those people that did not get uh, the first round are eligible to also apply for that. We're seeing the vast majority of applications for round two, but it is still available to those who might have missed it the first time. And for round two, not quite as much money? Are they not getting as, receiving as much? Well, it's, um, it's limited to two and a half times average monthly salaries. That's the amount. Up to $2 million. That's the maximum. But certain industries, if you're in hospitality or restaurants, you can go up to three and a half times hmm. your average monthly salary because they were really hard hit. And you mentioned there are some restrictions this time around. Are they, are they trying to benefit smaller businesses? Are they reducing the number of employees you can have? They did. In the first round, it was 500. You had to have less than 500 employees. This time, it is less than 300. And there are also criteria that you have to meet this time, that businesses have to meet this time, that they didn't the first time around. Yeah, the main difference with this is you have to show a 25% reduction in a quarterly gross revenue from 2019 to 2020. First round did not have that requirement. A lot of businesses probably still can do that, especially retail and restaurants, I imagine. Yes, there's a, the majority of the for businesses that we did the first time are coming back and very easily meeting that because they have been impacted. And how long do they have? How, how long is the window open for, for uh, the second round? We can accept, currently we can accept applications up to March 31st. That's for the, the end of the program. The money that they get, do they have to use it for payroll or do they have more flexibility now the second time around? The same stipulation is 60% of the funds they receive have to go towards payroll. What they did in the first round is when they first rolled the program out, they said they had eight weeks to show that they had utilized that money. They found that that was difficult to businesses because some of them were forced to close. They extended that to 24 weeks, which was very helpful to them, and that's why the vast majority are able to get the loans forgiven. That's the same criteria this time. 60% has to go to salary, same time frame, they have to 24 weeks to show that they've used it. But they can still use it for utilities, uh, rent, a couple differences this time that make it uh, those that had expenses associated with the personal protective equipment, they can, they can use it for that. And um, also a lot of them that had to spend money for maybe setting up outside venues, uh, they were able to use the funds for that as well. Has there been any talk about a third round yet? I know we're in the middle of the second round, but as uh, yet another big stimulus package is being talked about in D.C., Congress, the president, the Democrats in Congress uh, looking at that $1.9 trillion relief package. Is there any PPP round included in that? Or if not, is there talk that as we get into the spring and summer that, that there may be an, a, a need for a third round? I'm not hearing anything yet. You're right, the, the $1.9 trillion they're talking about now, I think, is more towards you know, the vaccine distribution, schools reopening, states and local municipalities. But I think if you know, this continues and they find that there is more need, uh, um, you know, they'll probably look at it. Absolutely. Steve Gashio, thank you very much for taking the time to stop by and talk with us. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it.